Hey, what's up? Rob here again. And in this video, I'm going to take you through adding pages and dealing with your page structure inside of Groove Pages. So let's dive in and take a look. OK, so we're inside the builder. We've got our Groove Pages site open. Now, if you've been following through on this series, we've got one, uh, a one page website. We've brought in a template, um, we've tweaked it, we've added our own images, we've added some um, extra, we've changed icons, we've added our text, we've changed our buttons, things like that. Now, what I want to talk to you in this one is about adding pages. So if you remember, when we looked at the interfaces, you've got the pages menu here. And at the moment on this site, this tells us we've got one page. Now, let's say this is, uh, we're imagining this site is to download an ebook. So when someone downloads, maybe it would take them through to a thank you page. So let's say we're going to add a new page. So we can go in the pages menu. We can click the plus icon at the top here. And that now brings you to this page here where you can choose to either uh, use a blank template or you can choose from the existing templates that exist here in Groove Pages. So let's say, I mean, you can use the tags here, thank you page, or I can go under here and I can look at uh, thank you pages down here. Let's click that one. And let's just pick one. Um, let's just do this one. Select and it will bring it in. And now it's going to bring in our second page to our website. So if I look at the pages tab again, you can see I've got page two. We don't want to call it page two. So we'll click on the three dots, edit settings, and let's call this thank you. That's the page name. The URL might be thanks. So it'll be yourwebsite.com or whatever it is, slash thanks. That's the URL. Um, and then the page title might be um, thank you for downloading or something like that. You can put in all your meta details. Um, again, any custom code in any tracking codes, open graph settings, things like that. Once you've done your uh, page settings, click the tick and they will take effect. And now you can see we've got our landing page and our thank you page. Now let's change the name of our landing page. Let's call it um, Hack Your Mindset. And let's call it Get Your Free Mindset Hack Today. And we can do the tick. So now we've got two pages. Now this is the page that's highlighted is the one you're, you're editing. So let's just quickly edit our page so that it matches our styling somewhat. Um, I'm just going to put in the blue background that we use. I'm just going to use a curved edged um, border. I'll just use white text. Uh, the font, I'm just going to use that one. And let's make it bold. And let's say, uh, thanks for downloading. There we go. And then we might put some more text in here. Uh, check out our Facebook group for more training and tips. That's just, you know, for instance, uh, we don't want that, so let's delete that. Follow us to stay updated with the announcements. We might keep those, and let's let's leave that image in. But I could change that image if I wanted to. We can change our logo. Just have an image of your logo and insert it here, and then you can change all the details down here. You know, you might want to change that to become uh, 2021, and then you know any details then link out, you, you could link out other pages, you could create a new page with terms and conditions, another new page with privacy policy, which you could do in here, you could just put the URL, highlight the text, enter a link, put the URL in there, or um, you could enter a text link from the buttons, put a text link down here, which you can then, I'll just show you quickly, you can then configure Click on configure, put the text, so it would say terms and conditions, link to your page, your terms and conditions page, and just link it up that way. So we've got our page, 
Um, so that's our page two. Now, if you want to add other pages and have an, some sort of a navigation, if you've got the type of site where you need navigation, um, let's just go to our home page. Now you could put a navigation in here. Let's put a nav bar in. Um, let's just pick that one and pop it up at the top. Now let's say we can put our logo in here. Now we've got our two pages. Now you might have, this might be, uh, let's, let's just rename these. Let's say that's home. Um, say that was our home page. Now that's updating in there. You might not want your thank you page to show. So let's just, for instance, let's just clone that. Say we've got a third page. Let's call this services. Okay. Now, when we go to our home page, we've now got home, thank you, and services, and these are links to those pages. Now, if I'd, I wouldn't want the thank you page to be in my navigation bar, so what I can do is I can click on these little six dots here and I can drag that down here into hidden pages. And now you see it's disappeared from the nav bar. So if you've got any pages that you want to remain private or you just want to give someone a link to, um, then that is the best way to do it. You create your pages and then you can drag them into hidden pages. They'll be hidden from the nav bar. They won't be, they won't be able to be found unless someone has the link to them or unless in this case, when someone clicks this button, it's going to take them through to that page. Uh, so that's really how you navigate the, the pages. So this shows you your pages up here. This gives you control of your pages and you can edit your page settings from within here. You can clone pages, uh, save them as temp templates, drag them into hidden pages. Uh, and the other way of doing that, which is it's just as quick, I'm just used to doing it that way, you can also click on these three dots and hide from navigation and it will put it under there for you. So that's all for the pages section. Um, now that you know, you know, you've got your, it's all coming together now, you can bring in a site from a template, you can add more pages, you know how the pages work and interact with each other. So I hope you can see how easy and quick it is to use Groove Pages. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye.